everyone, and welcome to the Pockets of Knowledge podcast. I'm your host, Desiree Stanley, and today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Today, I'm actually going to be my guest, and I'm going to be answering the one question that pretty much all of my family and friends and other guests on the show have asked me, and that is, why did I want to start this podcast? So here's my short answer. I love listening to people. I love hearing their stories. I love learning. And I wanted to um, showcase those stories and their information, their knowledge, their experience. So I spent about 10 months, uh, plus or minus, trying to figure out what would be the best way that I could really spotlight these amazing people that I know or that I meet and share their stories and what they're doing with their lives because they're pretty extraordinary. They're doing some really great things. And these are real people. They are getting out of their comfort zone. They're teaching others. They're helping others. They're growing themselves and they're doing things that maybe they never thought possible for themselves. And so I asked myself these last few months, what would be the best way that I could really put these folks into the spotlight? And what method would be the best way to do that? And ultimately, how could we empower and inspire and educate others to maybe follow their dream or what it is that they're passionate about and really make a go of it? So We each, as you know, have a choice about how we live our lives. And I want to share with listeners the knowledge that can help them make their dreams become a reality. And in the process, you know, whether it's success or failure, we become who we're meant to be. We learn about ourselves and what we're capable of. We grow as humans and we grow in that human experience. I have to kind of call out one of my running friends. When I asked her to be on the show, she said to me, like, who am I to be on a podcast and telling people, you know, what they should and shouldn't do? And I responded with, well, who are you not to? And she's like, I'm just a regular person. And I'm like, I understand that, but so are the people who are listening. And this exact same sentiment was expressed by my last guest who was saying, who am I to call myself a baker? I never really baked. I just barely started doing this. And through trial and error, she has grown and built a business from baking her vegan cookies and energy bars. Really, it's the same thing I said to myself before I started this podcast. And it's who am I to think that I could start a podcast? I don't know anything about podcasting. I'm not an influencer. I'm not having millions of followers. I don't really know what I'm doing. Why would I even think this is possible? And I'll tell you that I decided that I would take myself out of the equation. This isn't about me. It's about the interesting and exciting guests who I'm featuring on the show, who are sharing their knowledge and their experience. And that information for a listener could just be that piece of information that suddenly they're like a light bulb goes off and they realize, wow, okay, now I know this. Maybe I can, I can try, I can do this. And I think it just hits different. So When I mentioned to my daughter that I was going to be doing the podcast, she said to me, why would you do it? There's so much content out there. There's so many other people who have podcasts uh, just like this. Why would you do it? And I said to her, how many boutiques do you think we have in this town? How many restaurants do we have in this town? And are they all showing the same clothing designs? Are they all serving the same kind of food? Each of the owners are styling the clothes differently. Each of the restaurants are preparing the dishes slightly different. And that's the same thing with what I'm doing. My education, my experience, 
the things that I'm doing, the guests that are on the show are different and the knowledge and information that they're going to share is different. And I think that makes all the difference. So another question that I get asked is who is the target audience for the show? And while the guests so far have all been women and the conversation tends to lean toward uh, a direction of what's important and what for women's health and women's lives. The information is really valid for anybody. Anyone can take the advice and apply it in their life. Just run with it, right? See what pieces of information apply to what it is that you're trying to do and give it a go. So how did I come up with the name? This is one of the um, top questions that I get asked. And frankly, I went through a hundred names really no exaggeration, a hundred names before I came up with pockets of knowledge. And why did it take me so many names? Well, if you've ever done a search for a domain name, a .com name, URL, you'll find that pretty much every name is taken. That is if you want the .com name, if you want, you know, .net or some other variation, those are often available, but I wanted a .com name. So it took me that many iterations to finally find one that was available that also fit the description and the sort of uh, way that I wanted to present the podcast. I also did a bit of a poll and an A-B testing where I took the two top names that I really liked and presented it to uh, respondents with a description of what the podcast was about. And their responses to me were hilarious and awesome and super helpful in helping me to ultimately decide that Pockets of Knowledge was the best uh, name for the show. Another question that I get asked is, how did you set up the podcast? And while this information that I'm going to tell you now is not in any way a step-by-step -step process, basically what I did is this. I registered the name that I wanted, the pocketsofknowledge.com URL, and I created an anchor.fm account, which is how you would stream the podcast episode episodes to all the different places like iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Stitcher, what have you. And then I also went over and created a YouTube channel. I have to tell you that was a bit of a pain and really a huge learning curve for me. But again, it's this is about learning. This is about growing and developing new skills. And this was just another one of those things for me uh, when I was going through this process. I also created a website Website with WordPress. And I'm in the process now of creating an email list so that anyone who's interested in receiving notifications of new episodes can be alerted that they're available. So to close out the show, like I do with all of the guests I have on, I ask myself, what books have you read or are you reading now? Or perhaps what podcasts are you listening to that are, have been beneficial or you feel have made a difference in your life? I highly, highly recommend The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. And I really can't stress this enough. I want to get this book into the hands of everybody that I know, like birthday gifts, holiday presents, what have you, because it has so much great information that when applied to your daily life can have amazing results. So that is the number one book I suggest. If you can't pick it up from you know Amazon or some other book reseller, check the library. You can even borrow the book uh, like as an ebook and download it on your tablet or Kindle device and read it that way. This is actually how I initially read the book was on my tablet. And now I just want everybody to have it. Uh, the other book is The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And this is another book that has just been phenomenal and implementing the suggestions in this book have made a difference for me in my life and I think can have an impact on others. The podcast that he does is the 
uh, Achieve Your Goals podcast. So I highly recommend that one as well. In terms of another podcast that I'm listening to, I suggest Dear Gabby by Gabby Bernstein. And this one is a little bit more spiritually inclined and some might even say hippy dippy. Uh, so if you keep an open mind and listen to the episodes, you might be able to um, find something there that is beneficial for you. She also has plenty of books, fantastic um, topics. I recommend her books as well. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Pockets of Knowledge podcast. Be sure to follow the podcast and jump over to YouTube, like, and subscribe. So you'll be able to know when the next episode is out. I do hope that you'll give me some feedback on perhaps an episode that you'd like to hear in the future. Again, thank you so much for listening and I'll talk to you soon.